Hi, my name is Mercedes, also known as That Mom. If you are new here, welcome. Hi, and if you are coming back to my channel, welcome back. Hey guys, um, hello all 43 of you. If you guys are all watching, if you are, leave a like. And if you are new, make sure to hit, oops, sorry, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and that bell notification icon. Um, I try to put videos every Monday on this channel. So let's get into it. Today is a two-part video. So this is the first part of this two-part video, which because I have realized that I have entirely too much um, footage, <laughs> but it all kind of relays into the whole thing. So this is my attempt at um, doing a HGTV type episode. I am no Mr. Kate. I like watching Mr. Kate, but still, I'm no Mr. Kate. Um, today is the part one of our baby room redo. So um, as many of you guys, if you're back, know we have a baby. She is one now. She's taking a nap right now, so I gotta kind of do this quickly. Um, she just turned one a week ago. Yeah, a week and a day ago. Um, and she's still co-sleeping with us. Well, with me, you know, because dad tries to put her um, in her bed, in her little uh, pack and play. I try to put her in her little pack and play too, but you know what? I'm just kind of rolling with it. My oldest kind of co-slept here and there with us until about the age of four. So I'm sorry if you see me looking off to the side. I keep looking at the kids. So um, anyway, like I said, today is part one of our baby room redo video. And as you can see by the title, it's baby room redo. <laughs> so we have been living in this house um, with my mother-in-law. So we are actually her roommates. But... At this point now, there are more people. <laughs> so we basically, she's basically our roommate at this point, but we're still, we're still doing that the other way. Um, we have been using this spare room as just that, a spare room, a storage room. Before, we were going to use it as a homeschool room. Um, it just kind of, uh, all just kind of happened that now we have to we get to use it as a baby room but it has been a long time coming to clean it um i started filming this back in like november um so yeah as so i started filming little clips here and there in november and then we got the big pieces so you're gonna see the first couple clips right now and that's basically you know leading up to the fun stuff so i still have a couple more items to get which is why we haven't been able to film the second part of the video and um yeah, so, and then we got new floors, so everything got pushed into the room. So we're basically at zero again. You know, we're basically at the starting line just again. But I'm going to pick up, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to pick up filming where we basically were at the end of the clips. So without further ado, I've tried to edit down a little bit, but it's still kind of, it's a little bit long. So I'm sorry if it is, but um, here is part one, the the kind of the build up, the prep work, um, setting the stage, as you may say. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the little outro. Hello, oh, hi, how are you guys doing? Um, today, is November 19th. November 19th. I tried to film this um, a moment ago and I didn't know what day of the week it was or what day it was in general because um, night shift life. You never know what day it is. So anyway, today I'm standing in this very messy room again, but there's a point to this very messy room right now because if you guys follow me on Instagram, today I've posted a picture of this very messy room. That is my youngest daughter's room. Right now it's just kind of like uh, it was like a storage room uh, at one point um, 
at one point there was a roommate living in here but there hasn't been since we've been living here and we've been using it as like a storage room and then the baby came and then um all the intentions to make it into like an extra school room and you know all the craft room and everything that we had talked about with my oldest daughter um those plans just kind of went out the window because now we have to make it into a baby's room but there is a lot of stuff in here okay so there's a ton of empty boxes over here baby boxes all that kind of fun stuff um basically the only part of this room that's a functioning kids room is this little corner right here that blue um that blue uh three stack thing i have wipes and formula and like socks and stuff like extra stuff in there um there's a cat and a dog fighting me on the store um but anyway yeah um that's like the only part of this room that's actually functioning as a baby's room like look at this i have like that is extra baby food that we just got from the store because it doesn't fit in the kitchen right now and then my work bag i just moved and all that kind of stuff like oh well you get the closet's kind of functioning kind of functioning as a baby closet but then beyond there is extra um stuff there is like extra halloween costumes and extra dresses from my oldest daughter that hopefully the baby will be able to fit into one of these days and we can get some nice pictures of her wearing like the same dresses so yeah they're i mean they're all in really good condition anyway so why wouldn't we um but anyway yeah so uh yeah i wanted to go ahead and start filming this like this great big yellow thing I'm actually gonna take out right now because um the baby is standing on all these random objects so instead of her standing on a random object I might as well get a toy that's meant to stand and play with right um yeah so like there's a whole bunch of like like behind here yard sale stuff and I'm sorry if like this area looks too comfy because of mom life. Uh, I'm at the moment in between outfits. So this is like half of my jammies and half of like my day outfit. Because I have to um, go into the back and get some stuff together for a yard sale. Because we're doing another socially distant yard sale. Um, by the time you guys have seen this, hopefully I'll have done like two more. Um, so all the proceeds will go to getting my daughter a crib because... There's no crib in this room. <laughs> Absolutely no crib. There's a pack and play in our room that we've been using um, to let her sleep in it, but she hates it. So she doesn't like that the pack and play moves. And we just took out the bassinet part of the pack and play, so it's lower now. And she still absolutely hates it. So, yeah, so we'll probably end up putting... Because, like, we've been using it for the changing table insert, but she is way too big for the changing table insert now. Her legs go over the edge of it, so it's like, we better just take out the changing table insert anyway. Um, but, yeah, so we're probably going to put it, like, in the living room or just have it there so that she can still be put into it, even though she doesn't like it. Um, so, yeah, that's where everything is right now. I just wanted to document this before we really start cleaning because like I have a feeling that I'm gonna put it together and you guys are gonna see it in this nice cohesive video that is probably what you're watching right now um either one whole video or two videos I don't know I don't know that just yet this is this is past me talking to future me hi sorry that was my husband who just came to the door and he's like why are you talking to yourself <laughs> but um and I know how I explained it to him just now did not sound, did not sound pretty, um, but anyway, yeah, this is um, uh, what 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 what's going on? What we're doing? What we're gonna do with probably within the next couple of months here, because it's November. Like I said, I'm gonna probably do a yard sale a couple times to get the majority of like the stuff that we don't use. Like half of these boxes over here are. Um, clothes that are too small for my oldest daughter at this point so we're probably gonna go through these clothes and do some yard selling try to probably find a consignment store for some of them I have um, clothes 
<laughs> these boxes right here in the shadow those are baby clothes that are now too small for her half of them have tags on them because she just grew too fast she was this small little thing and then we got the supply issue kind of figured out and we got her tongue tie fixed and now she's a big little thing she is nine months old and 24 month outfits fit her like beautifully go fig go fig go fig but anyway um so yeah um that's where we're at and then i have a big old box of um nursing stuff because I got a ton of nursing stuff and at this point now nine months she's slowing down she is um she like she nurses to go to sleep and she nurses for comfort when I'm home but that's the only time she's nursing now so when I'm home to go to sleep and when I'm home for comfort um other than that I actually have only been pumping once a day uh once every couple days because when I'm home I don't end up usually pumping because like her little um Comfort nursing, just, it works. It just, it's enough to, uh, get us through. It's enough to get us through. And then when I'm at work, I only pump in, at like 3 o'clock in the morning when I take my lunch break. And I've been getting like, like a total of like 6 to 7 ounces. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I used to pump like 3 times when I was at work, when I went back to work. But yeah, that's not, it's not needed because I was only pumping like, an ounce and a half that first two pumps so yeah like together both sides an ounce and a half but uh yeah so that's where we're at right now um so yeah i'll probably talk to you guys when some of this stuff is out of here see if you guys can even see the difference of uh the messy space the messy room space trying to trying to show you guys and document but it's not really working but yeah see you guys probably in a month or so for this room yeah hey guys update two on um, baby room um I know it probably looks a little worse than the last time I was in here but but, but this whole stack right here is now empty diaper boxes um, so last time we were in here, this stack right here was yard sale stuff. That stuff is no longer here. It's in, um, our storage. What I didn't sell at our yard sale. So, um, I am going to have, I am going to have another socially distant yard sale. Um, I just don't know when, but, um, that is an improvement. Um, I'm going to put recycling in, um, some of these boxes. I'm going to go ahead and, um... There's a lot of stuff in here that just kind of needs to be consolidated. Like we have a bag of reusable bags. This just needs to be kind of consolidated, gone through, and put somewhere up there. If I can, I can't seem to angle the camera right, so it just needs to go up there somewhere. Um, we've got, ooh, we got this whole sitch, situation going on. Um... So this one has um, extra wipes, uh, like socks, wipes, um, I don't, it looks like I'm really puffy and tired, but I, I kind of am. I woke up from my little nap and I have to stay up all night, so um, this one I'm doing tonight. Um, so yeah, that one has um, like, like towels, socks, extra wipes. And then at the bottom, there's just kind of my stuff still at the bottom of that because that is actually um, my container. So that's actually my container. So I'm using it for the baby. And as you can see, there's extra stuff on here. There's some extra formula cans because... Sorry, I didn't mean to show you guys on my nose, but um, um, there's a lot of stuff in the kitchen. So I had to bring a bunch of baby stuff in here from the kitchen. So there's extra foods and stuff in here and since the baby's not really eating um baby food anymore I have a ton um that's actually over here so behind this right here this whole stack down there that uh Jojo bag and that whole stack sorry that is all um donations that's all donation so um 
one of these days we're going to take those over to the church and they're going to take them to um, a center that they work with um, and we've actually benefited from them too so um, yeah so we're just kind of giving back to the center um, I have this box right here of breast pumps and I have my other breast pump sitting over there so I'm gonna clean them up and um, my one breast pump lasted nine years so and looking at the Manila website the breast pumps will last for a long time as long as you maintenance and keep them up so I'm gonna clean that I'm gonna clean them all up again and I'm gonna probably pack them away um, maybe my daughters will use them maybe my friend uh, maybe one of my friends who are in need will use one of the newer ones um, at this point I'm not using them anymore I haven't pumped regularly in like two months so there's a little update um, I'll probably do a video on that if you guys want a new video about that so uh, yeah what are we doing I am cleaning up consolidating and trying to get this mess of boxes that mess of boxes taken care of so yeah this is update two of this video so yeah we'll see you in the next update oh i really hope to have a crib in here in like two or three weeks so fingers crossed hope to have a crib and everything in here by the next update so we'll see you then okay i'm calling it calling it for right now um this is the end of update number three and i can get this done right you see they don't look too horrible and that's where we begin sorry if that made anybody else dizzy it made me dizzy just too so um yes yeah, so i've got stuff ready to go to storage and get out of here and I've got stuff more stuff to donate and I've got some headache to still deal with in here but still it's not bad it's you know overall like I got more boxes into the stack and if um, we don't use them I'll probably um, ask somebody that we know if they need boxes to move or something like that or we'll probably just stick them in storage too um problem is this chest this thing right here it's got some stuff in it it's got some stuff from my husband's in it and it's like broken so I'm gonna have to tape it when we um go to actually move it but it, it lid clicks and everything so it's fine it belongs to it. It's just kind of broken. So, um, yeah. We're at a good point. So, yeah. So, I'll leave this right now. Um, yeah. I'll leave this right now. And, hope, like I said in the last clip, hopefully the next time we'll be in here, there will be a crib in here. So, hopefully this stack will be gone. Storage stuff will be gone. <sighs> Donate stuff. And this is the the stroller. The stroller stays. Stroller stays. Um, but like the donate stuff, and hopefully all of that stuff over on this side gets figured out a little bit better. Um, look, I put my bags up there. Those are a bunch of um, gift bags in that pink bag too. So, um, yeah. And then this chair right here. This. We actually need to get like a new battery for it, so it's not going anywhere until it gets a new battery. So, so yeah, so that's it on what I say. This is update two, so I'll be back in update three. See you guys there, or this is probably update three. Be back in update four. See. You. Okay, so um, what did you guys think? So far, we are like I said, we're starting from zero again so the room that was nice and clean at the end of that last clip is now a total train wreck again but um give it like a couple days and we'll be back to where it was because we just got the flooring put in like uh, a week ago so we're still trying to get back to the norm um with this new flooring and if you heard any um dog paws in the background this floor is like really 
like echoey. So, um, we still have a couple things to buy for the baby's room. So, I think in the end, or the end of the, you know, the two-part video, we'll just be at least getting set up and all that stuff. But then I might even make it into a three-part video if I end up getting more stuff for her room. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new here, like I said in the beginning, I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed because I not only do videos like this, well, this is my first time doing a video like this. Um, I do bullet journaling videos. I am that mom, so I do that mom type videos. Um, going to be doing some, uh, other videos uh we do cooking a lot too we're gonna do some spring cooking here um to usher in the spring as one may say so i hope you guys come back for those and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and we will see you in part two or in another video i don't know what's gonna come first so anyway bye <laughs> that's right my mouse Snafu, my mouth doesn't work. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.